Namaste, welcome to Sri Saraswati Vidyalam News Watch. I am Gautam Gopagumar, a 10th standard student of the school. First of all, let us have a gander at the international news. China summons European diplomats over statement on Taiwan. China says it summoned European diplomats in the country to protest statements issued by the group of seven nations and the European Union, criticizing threatening Chinese military exercises surrounding Taiwan. India-Pakistan should peacefully resolve Kashmir issue. China on Friday called on India and Pakistan to peacefully resolve their differences in Kashmir on the third anniversary of the move to revoke the special status of Jammu and Kashmir under Article 370. Now let us move on to the national news. Indian Army conducts exercise skylight to test resilience for its satellite communications. To, st to test the operational readiness of stat satellite systems and personnel manning them. The Indian Army last week carried out exercise skylight validating and showcasing the resilience of communication capabilities in case terrestrial connectivity is disrupted in future conflicts. Officials in the security establishment said, India had ahead of the development countries on clean energy pledge, says government. Power Ministry R.K. Singh on Friday took told the Lok Sabha that India was outstripping the developed countries in terms of achieving pledges with regard to clean energy. Now let us switch on to the state news. Malabar River Festival, a gear change for tourism in Kodanjeri. For the residents of Kodanjeri, an upland village towards the north northeast part of Kodikode, the Malabar River Festival scheduled to be held from August 12th to August 14. It is not a just it is not just a tourism event but a ticket to the future. Shutters of Mullaperiyar Dam opened as water level reaches 137.50 feet. The PWD engineers have released 534 cusacks for water from the Mullapiriya Reservoir at 1 p.m. on Friday after the storage level reached 137.50 feet. Now it is time for the sports buffs. Bajrang Sakshi Deepak make it a gold rush. Tokyo 2020 bronze medalist Bajrang Punya spurred on by cries of Bharat Madha Ki Jai from a boisterous crowd. Crushed Canada's Lachlan MC Neil. 9-2 and defended his Commonwealth Games wrestling gold in the men's freestyle 65kg category at the Conventry Arena on Friday. Sindhu Srikanth sent sail into quarter-final in Commonwealth Games. Star India shuttlers including PV Sindhu, Kidambi Srikanth and Lakshya Sen registered easy wins to storm into the quarter-finals of singles events at the Commonwealth Games on Friday. Now, order to the school news. Regarding the sports, our physical education trainers, Ashik and Anup sir, both of them have been working hard for the last one week for providing better training for our students regarding the sports competition at the district and state level. They have been providing intense coaching for Coco, Kabaddi, etc. Even they brought some of the trainers from outside. They also provided exclusive training on Coco and Kabaddi. Their continuous hard work always give us a clear picture that our students will achieve something within a short time because their performance make us feel extremely happy and within that they would be the future Olympians. That's all. Namaste. After that, now watch the mind-blowing performances of our child prodigies. Sauber Nikabi. Ah, 
Hey, happy day. My house is red. A little house. Happy day, the my. I love and play at the old day long. Happy ever fly. I have a tree, a green green tree, to shake me from the sun. And under it, I often sit when not my play is done. Divya Thakran is a freestyle wrestler from India. Divya has won 60 medals including 70 gold medals in the Delhi State Championship and has won the Bharat Kesari title 8 times. She has been vocal about being disappointed by the lack of support from the government of Delhi in her pursuit for a medal of the Asian Games in 2018. Despite writing to the government about her poor financial background, Divya is presently employed with the Indian Railways as senior ticket examiner. Divya Khar hails from North Delhi and belongs to a middle class family from Purbalia village. Her father, Sura Strange, saw the language for Lily Hood, which her mother read at home. Kirkwood studied physical education and sports science at Noida College of Physical Education in Dadri, India. In 2017 Commonwealth Games, Commonwealth Wrestling Championship, Kirkwood won a gold medal in the Commonwealth Championship held in South Johannesburg, Africa in 2017 December. Kakran won a silver medal in the women's free style 69 kg event at 2017 Asian Wrestling Championship in India. Kakran won the Bharat Kesari title held in Bhivani Hadiara, India. In the final match of competition, Kakran defeated Ritu Malik before the, his final match. Kakran defeated the international champion Gita Bhogat, who was famous enough to be portrayed in the movie Dengar. Kakran won a bronze medal in women's Freestyle 68 kg event at 2018 Asian Games in Jakarta and Palmang, beating Tapis Shine Willing on account of technical security. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow. Namaste.